How's it going everyone? Thanks for stopping by to the channel. If you saw in my recent film breakdown video, we went over the film of the Packers second round draft selection, Jaden Reed out of Michigan State. In today's video, we're going to break down the film of the second wide receiver they drafted in the draft, Dontavian Wicks out of Virginia in the fifth round. Wicks was a wide receiver I mocked to the Green Bay Packers a ton. That guy just screamed Green Bay Packers wide receiver. So when his name was called in the fifth round of the 2023 NFL draft, I was not surprised at all. Honestly, when that pick was coming up and Wicks was still on the board, I was going, you know, the Packers are going to draft Dontavian Wicks here. They already got Jaden Reed, who has inside outside versatility. And I really suggest you go watch that film video. I put out on him to give you kind of an insight of what type of receiver he is and how he's going to be implemented into the Green Bay Packers. So click the link right above. Definitely go check that out and leave a like to support my channel on that video. So Dontavian Wicks, um, more of an outside wide receiver, whereas, you know, Jaden Reed has that versatility. So I figured once they had got Reed, they were going to get a pure outside type of guy, a nice depth uh, possession type of wide receiver to supplement Romeo Dobbs and Christian Watson. Now, bringing up Wicks RAS, he is an athlete. He is a 9.17. He's six foot one point three. He's 206 pounds. Now, where he struggled in the combine was his 40 yard dash at 4.62, but he did have a hip injury during the combine and ended up finishing it anyway. I believe he improved that to a 4.57 at his pro day, but I would honestly say Wicks is more of like a 4.55 type of guy. Don't believe he's that slow. I, I believe he has some speed. He's not the most fast wide receiver, but he does have quick twitch, and he's really good at like putting his foot in the ground and creating explosion. So as we see in his explosion grade down there, 39 inch vertical, 10 foot 10 broad jump, also a good agility grade with a 4.2 shuttle and 6.91 three cone. Now, where Wicks is very similar to Jaden Reed is their production. In 2021, they both were over 1,000 yards. Wicks actually over 1,200 yards and nine touchdowns. But in 2022, that play dropped significantly. Wicks 430 yards and two touchdowns. And also where they are similar, both offenses, the Virginia offense and the Michigan State offense, simply just wasn't good in 2022 so obviously your play is going to drop if the quarterback play drops you're not going to you know have as many yards or many opportunities or targets or balls that are on target uh to to you so you know you, you might suffer in stats but i don't think it says the whole picture i said that with jane reed and i say the same thing with dontavian wicks for example some of the tape i have today is virginia versus illinois i also went over some tape against illinois for jane reed michigan state versus illinois and both teams just stunk it up against illinois and illinois has a wonderful defense so i understand why Illinois would win, but Virginia lost 3-24 to and didn't even score a touchdown against them. All right, so without further ado, let's bring up the screen and get the tape on the screen. So we have one game from Dontavian Wicks here from the All-22 footage, and it is that Illinois game. And most of this game, he is going against Devin Witherspoon, the first cornerback taken in the 2022 draft and probably the best cornerback in all of college football in 2023. So take that into account when diving through into this film. So we see him at the top of the screen here. Um, he's, like I said, mainly an outside wide receiver. He played pretty much all of his snaps out wide. He has some inside snaps, but he's going to be an outside guy for the Green Bay Packers. And we see Devin Witherspoon here off uh, coverage here with a little bit of an inside shade. So Wicks is going to be running a deep dig here. And since Witherspoon is kind of off here, what the best thing to do, and he's inside shade, the best thing to do is attack his outside hip and then break underneath on a dig. And I think Wicks does an excellent job here at doing that. Um, he slows up a little bit at the top of that route. You'd like to see that a little bit quicker. But where Wicks excels is getting one foot in the dirt and bursting that direction. Um, I feel like he's one of the best bursts in terms of making quick cuts, one cuts on routes that I've seen um, in this entire draft class. So as we see there, he also uses his body very, very well to shield out defenders. Um, so we see there on that one break, he runs up to Witherspoon, kind of restacking him. Um, you know, going against Witherspoon's leverage and then breaking down underneath, using his body to shield away Witherspoon and breaking across the middle. Um, if the quarterback waited another, you know, half second there, Wicks would have been the read there right across the middle, and that would have been a big gain, maybe even a touchdown if he ended up, you know, running that into the end zone. So really nice uh, deep dig there on the best cornerback in the in college for 2023. Here again, we have Wicks at the top of the screen. Witherspoon this time is in press coverage and a little bit of an inside shade. And what Wicks is trying to do on this play is run a drag right over the right across the middle here so 
since Witherspoon's an inside shade, he's got to at least try to threaten vertical um, off of his release. And he does an excellent job at that. And then creating separation from Witherspoon, as we see here, Wicks has an excellent release package. I feel like, like I said, he has that one quick twitch cuts. One of the best in this draft class, in my opinion. And he gets a little bit off balance um, there. So sometimes he kind of overextends out of his frame on his cuts. And it does it does hurt him a little bit. But a lot of the times, he's actually very good balance for, you know, kind of stepping out of his frame a little bit. And it helps him. So as we see here, Witherspoon's way, way behind him. I believe he's in man covered. And simply just couldn't track that. The ball goes the other way, um, right across the middle here to another guy. But I mainly just wanted to showcase that release by Dontavian Wicks. His ability to quickly step out of his frame to the outside, right off the snap, right there to push Witherspoon to the outside, threaten him vertically, and then swipe underneath and run that drag across the middle of the field. All right, so here's another example of this. Wicks on the bottom of the screen, Devin Witherspoon playing press here. And again, Wicks' ability to kind of step out of his frame and almost, it looks like he's going to fall, but he doesn't because he has excellent balance. As we see here, he does a good job also swiping away Witherspoon's hands and creating separation on him, then getting upfield first, threatening outside, cutting back underneath inside, and getting upfield. As we see here, then he uses his body to shield away Witherspoon. Doesn't allow Witherspoon to break through him. He uses his size and uses his body and then cuts underneath for a deep dig here. The ball uh, is underthrown or I guess low thrown where the linebacker can get a hand on it. And I think if you put that out in front of Wicks, you know, over the top of this linebacker in front, that's that's a completion on Devin Witherspoon. And I think that would have been a completion. Witherspoon's a very, very good cornerback. So don't take it lightly when Witherspoon can easily, you know, regain his 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 uh, space here when Wicks initially creates that separation. Don't think of it as a negative in terms of Wicks here. Devin Witherspoon is an excellent cornerback and he can regain the space he lost in a very short period of time. So nonetheless, still a really good job, Wicks, you know, on that release package and then also using his body to shield away Witherspoon and breaking into that deep dig. Here we have a run blocking play by Don Tavian Wicks on the bottom of the screen because we know the Packers love their blocking wide receivers and they uh, a lot of the time ask their receivers to have big blocking assignments and I love the aggression here by Wicks. A lot of times I saw some of these run blocking plays. I mean he just goes outright and attacks the defensive back. I mean he's not letting up until the very very end of that play. I mean I love the aggression. I love him going out there and just wanting to attack this defensive back and block for his running back that just screams Green Bay Packer and that's why I had a mock to the Packers so many times just his demeanor and the way he carries himself and the way he plays the wide receiver position just screamed Green Bay Packer here on this play Wicks is going to be on the top of the screen isolated by himself on the strong side this cornerback is going to be in cover three very very heavy inside shade so he knows he's on an island right here he doesn't want to let up a deep post he knows he has safety help but he's extremely uh inside shade he knows the quarterback's likely not going to be able to make a, a deep throw a nine route over the top of him plus he trusts his instincts here in a cover three so Dontavian Wicks is trying to run a deep dig here so he's trying to get to the inside now that's going to be a very hard thing to do when the cornerback is going run to the outside I'm, I'm covering this inside I don't want you to run a dig I don't want you to run a slant I don't want you to run a post so what Wicks does is restacks the cornerback, plays against his leverage, which is exactly what you'd want to see here from a wide receiver in this exact position. I'm going to let it run through real quick. And oh man, just restacking that cornerback. It's a horribly thrown ball and it's incomplete. But the way you would make this cornerback move off his platform and allow you to have more space inside would be to be threatened the outside and threatened vertical, which is exactly what Wicks does on that quick one step to the outside. Now that cornerback's thinking, okay, it's not an inside route. He's going vert. I got to save myself. The safety does have help over the top, but nonetheless, I'm going to cover three. I got to cover the deep. I got to cover the outside as well. So Wicks doing that sends that cornerback way back outside. He restacks him, and then Wicks is able to stop on a dime and cut underneath that cornerback that's really off his platform at this point. And like I said, that's an excellent ran route. The ball should have been there. The ball should have been complete, and that should have been a 20, 25-yard gain there. And just, you know, an excellent ran deep dig route. Like I said, I've seen this twice now from Dontavian Wicks. It seems like he's very good at understanding the, the, the concept of running that route and how to get open versus different coverages, and he showed exactly that here. 
here we have Dontavian Wicks at the bottom of the screen. He's basically going to be running a, again, a deep dig by sorts on the goal line here. Um, the ball's going to be slightly high, but it still showcases, and it's going to be out of bounds, but it still showcases Wicks, you know, tremendous body control and his balance. So as we see here, he's going to first threaten with that rocker step to the outside, like he's going to be running a fade, basically pushing that cornerback to the outside. He's going to cut up field, and that, and then at that point, the cornerback's passing him off to the safety because he's kind of in a, in, a, in a zone here on the outside. He's got to cover this flat wide receiver. So Wicks does a good job then getting upfield and then trailing the back line of that end zone and getting in behind these defenders, basically finding that open zone. And if the quarterback keeps that ball down, that's an easy touchdown, and that's their first touchdown on the day, and this is in the fourth quarter. But it's a very high ball, still really nice vertical by Don Taven Wicks here. I mean, this dude gets up, and like I said, it has extreme explosion with his vertical and whatnot. And if this ball is better placed, that's an easy touchdown, but it still showcases his extreme explosion and his body control. And you see he doesn't get a foot down. He's, he's behind the line of the end zone, you know, by a yard or so. But like I said, it was more of a poor throw. Wicks was wide open. The ball should have been delivered correctly, but it just showcases his quick twitch ability, ability to find an open zone and his vertical there. All right, so that was all the film I have from the Illinois game. Now I'm going to move on to some Senior Bowl clips because the Packers, you know, <laughs> love their Senior Bowl players. Um, and in his 1v1s, um, Dontavian Wicks excelled in the Senior Bowl. Right here, he's against Jamie Robinson, a safety I really liked. Um, we see here in man coverage, a little bit inside shade here. And Wicks is going to run a disgusting zig route. I mean, this is absolutely perfect chef's kiss on that zig route he sells everything perfectly from the start we see him you know basically attacking that cornerback and jammy's going hey i don't want you to go inside basically he says go over top go over top of me i'm stopping you from running a quick slant here i'm stopping you from running a dig here and wicks is still gonna attack him he's still gonna give that extremely good step inside here trying to come across his face and sell that slant and at this point jammy's going oh, nah. you know i'm inside shade I got this. This is locked down. So Wix does it perfectly in terms of selling that inside route and turning it into a zig, whip, whatever you may call it. And he does it perfectly. That quick one step stop to go. His quick twitch one step in the ground ability, like I said, is is just a, a tremendous. I, I Like I said, it's one of the best in the draft class I've seen. And he's just super twitchy, even though he doesn't, he's not a burner by any means. He's super twitchy and has just quick feet in terms of explosion. Just one foot in the ground and he is off that other direction wherever he wants to go. Awesome route there. Here on this play, he's going to be running a fade into the end zone. He's going to do a little bit of a nice delay release and then also hesitate and then, you know, kind of give a step inside to keep that cornerback on his left hip, allowing Wicks to go to the outside and give himself separation in order to make a catch in the back of the end zone. And he does a good job of keeping distance with his hands here. The cornerback's holding, but Wicks still has his left arm keeping that distance, not allowing the cornerback to really get in his center frame. And he also does an excellent job with the late hands here extending out beautifully super long arms just securing that catch you would have liked him to see him drag that second foot yeah in college you only need one down but he's now in the nfl so you would have liked to see that um i think he could have but uh he did only get one foot down here but nonetheless just the concept of what he did and in order to fight off what was a defensive hold and still come down with that ball with a nice late hands extension really nice um you know awareness here by uh, dontavian wicks here is another one against this Georgia defender. I don't know if it's Ringo. I know Ringo wasn't number 27, but it is a senior bowl, so he could have been given that number. I'm not sure exactly what cornerback this is, but right now this cornerback's giving Wicks his outside. He doesn't want him to run a slant. So Wicks is going to run a fade here, but he's going to threaten this cornerback and play against his leverage, and he's going to push him even farther inside and create a ton of separation. He's not just going to run a fade straight out and allow the cornerback to track him the entire time. He's going to play against his leverage here force the cornerback more inside off his platform as you see right there this cornerback right there is beat he's done like wicks is gone that quick one foot in the ground and he is out of there right that one foot in the ground and he is out of there like i said i've been saying all day in this film and he creates a ton of separation and that's that's an easy touchdown he dropped the ball he's had some concentration um drops in 2023 uh that definitely needs to get cleaned up but what you like to see is everything before there right you can clean up the drops right but what you, uh, what you love to see is his you know route running ability, his release package. He's head faking with his shoulder, with his head. That one step in the ground, even outside of his frame, like I said, he's really good at that. And then getting upfield on that vertical. You'd love to see him uh, haul in that ball, though. So I actually have one more clip. Here we have, I think, against Illinois again, but this is um, home game for the Cavaliers. 
and we see this cornerback here outside shade he's in man coverage and this is just going to showcase again dontavian wicks body control this is going to be a nine route but the way he does it and the way he sets up this cornerback is very very interesting but it's still it just showcases his quick twitch and his body control as we see here he first started inside he's breaking outside he's gonna kind of hesitate here like he's gonna run a double move and he does but then he's gonna stop on a dime break underneath and then cut back on field upfield swiping under that cornerback for a touchdown the body control by Don Taven Wicks is insane. If you've watched his highlights, you saw that one touchdown where he broke a few tackles, you know, you know, tight roping the sideline, spinning out another guy. You can see it right here, Ely coming off the corner. He puts it over top of Charlie Thompson. You see him just towing the sideline, cut back across the field. His body control is, is next level. And it showcases there. It's not a traditional way to just run a straight nine, but when you don't have blazing speed, you got to work with what you have. And he does exactly that, basically flipping this cornerback completely around and using his body control and his strength and you know everything else to get upfield and and score a touchdown against a, a good Illinois defense. So that's all the film I have for Dontavian Wicks. I absolutely love this pick in the fifth round. I think he's a steal in the fifth round, and I don't think he's necessarily going to get a ton of snaps. You know, you know, first week of the season because obviously Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs are going to get snaps over him because they're the primary outside wide receivers and Wicks doesn't have too much versatility where you're going to go okay put this guy in the slot obviously Jaden Reed's going to be that guy but I think the Packers are going to rotate their wide receivers a lot and I think Wicks will start getting snaps pretty early on and he'll be a nice rotational wide receiver and I think he could become you know something very good for the Packers offense a nice possession jump ball type of wide receiver that has great body balance and as long as he gets the concentration drops under control I think he's all good to go and I think he has a great route running ability he's a good run blocker he's a physical wide receiver with a great you know explosion with vertical you know off his one cuts and he's good with the ball in his hands uh, yards after catch ability so I'm super excited about Don Tavian Wicks but let me know what you think of him down in the comments like I said it wasn't the most wow type of wide receiver off on paper if you look at him with his numbers and his RAS and his 40 yard time you probably go okay this guy um, not too excited about him but I definitely Liam. I think he showcases exactly what the Packers want at wide receiver for an outside wide receiver. And I think he'll complement, you know, Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs very, very well. And it's just an excellent piece to have adding into this wide receiver room that is going to have to really step up with Jordan Love to make this offense good in 2023 and beyond. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down and clicked the like button. You can also show support to my channel, giving a super thanks. I just added that to these videos. So if you want to do that, I greatly appreciate it. Love you guys for watching my videos um, allows me to do the thing I love every day and that is talk the Green Bay Packers really appreciate you guys and also if you are new here and you are interested in this sort of thing you know film breakdowns everything Green Bay Packers um, from news analysis updates throughout the entire offseason OTAs right around the corner if that does interest you go down and click the subscribe button as well and become part of the family but that about does it for this video I'll catch you on the next one and as always go back up